Hello. And well back to M2 again. Right, today, we're on the old T4 again. And as you can see, we got a lot of the old T4 missing. Unfortunately, there was a lot of rust on this vehicle, so I've had to cut it all out. And now, we're coming up to actually welding in the new metal. So I wanted to make this quick video to show you about how I've set up and what I've cut out. Now as you can see, the outer panel's gone in, door's got is off, the outer arch panel's off, inner seal's gone, outer seal's gone, um, step is still in, outrigger's there. Now what I've done is I've peeled, drilled out and peeled off all the metal. Right now on these, on T4s, the inner seal is actually part of the step. So the metal comes around, comes down, out, and then lips down. So if you imagine it comes down like that, like that. And then this panel here, which comes down here, is the inner lip that the actual outer seal attaches. You can see it comes around here, so it comes around. Now what I've done, run the disc cutter, and I've sliced out the bottom of the lip. This is my new inner seal here, with the plug welds. You see where I've drilled the plug welds for and then round where it would attach the outrigger. And then I've joggled the end there, if you see. So that will that lip will sit inside. And then I've drilled the spot welds off here. Let's get you in a bit closer. Let me see what I've done now. So, you can see on the inner seal is part of the actual step. So it normally comes down here, out, and then lips down. And that travels from there back to there. And I took a measurement from this corner here to the tip of the inner seal over here is 810. And then I've got a measurement for there as well. Can't remember what it is now. This gap here that I've left here. So obviously I've chopped the bottom of the inner seal off. Skinned this section that comes around here. So if you imagine you see there, there's that bit of lip there. That originally went all the way along there. Then back up there, you can see where I've drilled the spot plug welds out, the spot welds. Now peeled that off, skinned the outrigger, skinned it there, skinned it there. Now that's a butt weld, so the metal will sit on that right up tight. And it will sit up in there. Now mine's all rotten up in there, so I've got to rebuild that bit. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the inner seal in now, clamp it in, and then I'm going to let you have a look see how it's sitting. I also popped the plug welds on here, so if you imagine up in here, so we've got a gap, so I can tuck the panel up in between the two sheets. Right, put a bit of light on the situation. Right, there we go, there we have it. New inner seal is in place, as you can see, clamped onto the outrigger, going to plug weld it on there, plug weld it there and there. And then I'll push this in, seam weld that to there, seam weld on the inside, which will seal that, plug weld all the way down here, seam weld that, cut that in, seam weld that. That's how we're going in. And if you imagine, we're like, I think it's like 8 to 10. Long from that point there to there. Yeah, 8 to 10. Oh, sweet. And from there to there. We are, could be about four or something. Yeah, just over four, about like ten, four. So now we're all tucked in and we're trimmed in. We're gonna weld it in. Now, seam up there, seam up that in there. Let's get to work. <coughs> right, let's weld.
welcome back. Right, more on the T4. I have now, as you can see, I have put the front arch in. Um, I also have fitted, fitted the closing panel here. Um, still a lot of under seal there, still been burnt off. Just used a bit of card, marked that up, plug welded that back in, that's back in. I also fitted a new arch set, inner arch section in here. Now when you do it, I took a measurement from here for the original one to this and wrapped the tape around the outside to actually work out how far I have actually had to bring this inner arch out. And then it's quite easy, you just line it up top corner. Steam wet, sim wheeled and stitch that in. Right, now when you put on the outer arches, here, yeah. your outer arch back on, you've got to refit your door. Now you plug weld it along down here. Do not weld this section and don't weld down here either. Because what you'll have to do is you have to shut your door and then you have to grab hold of the arch and pull the arch up and out to actually suit the door line here. Then once you've got it pulled out and in the right place, you've plug weld a couple of welds in here. Then with your panel hammer, you beat the inner arch out to meet the outer arch and as you can see I've got these plug welds down here then you re-weld into place simple as and as you can see now we're in, in place now I call it cutting in the reason I call this is you have to trim all the edges in you have to take your time and slowly trim them so when the actual panels go together as you can see on this one Set this one up in here. They literally, they literally all slot together like a jigsaw puzzle. I always join them on joins. So you'll normally have your front arch will come and then come along here. I see many people weld around here. That's uh, okay if you're not doing this, done this before, because you can lengthen this seal to suit your door. But the downside of doing that. If you weld a joint here, then you have a rust trap on this straight edge and also it makes it a lot harder to join the two panels together because then you've got to fill them all together. But if you weld on joints in angles, you can actually, with minimal filler, cover that area very, very easy, leaving a nice, true straight front panel. Very important that you tuck these all in not up to this gap here i don't glue them first of all what i do is i weld everything in then i'll get a nice thin nozzle with and i push the glue through the joints with the actual mastic gun that's how i do it simple as so there we go see my little closing panel in there my arch here all welded on all plug welded on ready to go now i'm going to plug weld now i'm going to plug weld this on all into place weld that all up and then as i pull that that will all straighten up and get into the right place and I'll weld all the joints in, stitch it all together, grind it back and then she'll look sweet. Simple as. Right, I right, hope that's been slightly helpful for you anyway. I'll show you a video of once I've actually completely welded in and we'll go from there. 